Hey, you know, it's about time you woke up. Yeah, it's a little late. I was going to wake you up sooner, but you just look so peaceful lying there sleeping. So I decided to let you rest. I'm glad I found you. Well, I saw you up and moving on the map finally. <laughs> So I followed you here. Hey. I wasn't creeping. We just really need to start talking about our battle plans for the next raid. I hear this one's really tough. Yeah, while you were sleeping, I came into town and I've been talking to the locals and trying to figure out anything about Floor 74. From what I hear, Everyone who's attempted Floor 74 hasn't made it, so we don't know anything about it. Or those that have made it to Floor 74 and come back are in such bad shape that they can't even talk to us. We don't even know what's up there or what they saw. The front lines can be really scary and nerve-wracking. And from what I hear from the locals, between you and me, because I don't want to frighten anyone yet, we can't even use our teleport crystals on floor 74. I know, scary thought. At least I have you, though. I know that we can do everything together, and it helps me not to worry. Hey, don't talk like that. I promise you, I'm going to be just fine. You want to know why? Because I have you to live for. And someone's got to protect you. So no worries, okay? Perfect. You look a little banged up. What were you doing this morning before I found you? Oh, you were out hunting? Thank goodness, we're all out of meat. Did you get anything? Oh, some boar is good. What's that? That's disgusting. Toad legs? I mean, yeah, I have a high cooking level, but I don't even want to touch those. I mean, I can try, but let's wait till later. If you're hungry, I brought some stuff for you. I figured you'd be a little hungry since you just woke up. But before you eat, why don't we get you healed up real quick? It doesn't look bad. Just like a small, small couple cuts around your face. It looks like one on your arm. <laughs> Nothing a little healing magic can't fix. I got just the thing. I got this in town. It's a quick fix. Healing antidote. It's not super strong, but I traded some bread to the local shop and they gave me it for like a quick fix on small wounds. It's almost like they knew I was going to need it today. Don't worry, I'll get you all fixed up in a jiff. I told you I gotta take care of you.
I'm just going to take a little bit of this and put it on this towel here. Okay. And supposedly it should just heal it really quick as we wipe it on. Yeah, and it shouldn't feel a thing. It's just cold. Sorry. Does that feel better? Okay, good. Wow, would you look at that? They're healing right up. That's so crazy. Definitely worth the trade for a couple slices of bread. And don't worry, they saved some bread for us. Okay. Yeah, I waited to eat with you. There was a lot to do this morning and I figured that was more important. Okay. All good. Feeling better? Perfect. Okay. So. Okay. I figured you'd be hungry and I grabbed some bread and some fruit. I mean, I know it's not the tastiest options out there, but it'll do, right? And it's not like we can taste that much right now anyway. You know, that's something I miss about the real world. Being able to taste food. It's something I took for granted till we got here. I almost forget what it's like to taste food. Yeah, I remember my favorite food was ice cream. <laughs> Typical, but... And I almost can't remember what it tastes like. And then I want to remember what cheese tastes like. And pie, and... Like spaghetti, and pizza, and... It's just crazy how I can't really remember any of it. Hmm. What's your favorite food? I've never had it. Promise me when we get out of here you'll show me it. I'm holding you to it. You know, before me and you met, I was so angry. I felt like every day I spent in here was a day wasted in the real world and in my real life. I would literally sleep, get up, fight so hard, be so exhausted, and then come back, sleep some more, and do it all over again. And then when I met you, and you were just sleeping under that tree, taking a nap, and you told me, how it was a beautiful day in the season and that you didn't want to waste it battling monsters and stuff like that. I was so angry at you and yet I laid down and took a nap with you. You really did change my whole outlook on everything. I don't see it as a day wasted here anymore. I see it as a day gained here. I love spending time with you and our cabin and Yui. It almost makes me not want to leave. 
but I know it's selfish. I know others want to get back to their families and our families miss us. And that's why we have to stay fighting on the front lines. Just promise me that when we get out of here, we will find each other, okay? I know you do. Okay, pinky promise. Okay. So how you feeling better? Good. So, like I said, we have to start discussing what we're going to do about floor 74. We need to get more information and after everything I found out this morning, we're not going to be getting it from any locals or anyone else that ventures up there. I have an idea. Yui. Hi, Mama. Hi, Papa. I need you to go and see if you can find any information on Floor 74. Mm. What kind of monsters are there or what are their weaknesses? And let me know what you find, okay, sweetie? Okay, mama. Thanks. <laughs> okay. Hopefully Yui will be able to get us some good information. At least something we can use. <sighs> We're gonna definitely need a couple more people other than the friends that we have. I think we should get a few more healers. And I know me and you are on the front lines, but we do need a couple more people defending us. We probably could use a couple more swords, too. Oh, speaking of which... While you were out sleeping... I got my sword sharpened by the blacksmith. It's nice and sharp now for the boss raid. I know you've been getting on my case about getting it sharpened, so... Don't worry, I listened. Maybe we can do more hunting later. We could really stock up on some meat and some supplies. Something better than toad legs. <laughs> and that can help us level up and improve our skills. We probably should advance a little bit before we tackle floor 74 in that boss raid. Yeah. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, I probably need to level up a little bit, specifically in my defense. How are your stats looking? Okay. We can definitely work on that. Hmm. I could probably use some improvements on my armor, too. You definitely could as well. I don't mean that in a bad way. I just, I worry about you and it would make me feel better knowing that you're more safe. Okay. Wow. Okay. If we're going to get you better armor, I'm gonna have to get some quick measurements so I can get it made. I'm paying for it, and you know it. I still owe you. What's mine is yours, remember? 
That's what happens when you get married. Okay, hold still. Okay. to get it from your arm length, okay? Yeah, we could do armor improvements, but since we have a little money saved up, we might as well buy some new good equipment. I mean, floor 74 is going to be hard, but we still have a ton after that, so it's not like it'll go to waste. Other arm. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get your legs. Hold still. I hope you don't mind me getting so close. <laughs> hey. Well, we can finish this back at home if you're embarrassed, but no one's watching. Okay, I'll continue. Just stand still. I'm just going to get the length of your shoulders and your neck, okay? All right. Next, you'll have to take my measurements. <laughs> Don't worry, I figured you'd be too embarrassed. You can do it back at the cottage. Right now, I'll probably go into town and at least get yours started. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that way we can test yours out and then they can make mine next. Mama. Yui? What did you find out? This world is controlled by a massive system called Cardinal. I see. It controls Sao under its own judgment. Okay. It decides everything from monsters, NPCs, drop rates of items, and currency. Okay. The monster on floor 74, all I can see is that he's called the Reaper of Souls. Let me know. I'll keep looking. Thanks, sweetie. All right, you heard her. We definitely need to start training. And yeah, we should hit up our friends that are coming and let them know what's going on. Yeah, we should get them to start training as well. Don't worry, it's going to be okay. Like I said, we've gotten this far and we can do all things together. 
Plus, you promised everyone you were going to save them, and we need you now more than ever. No pressure. <laughs> oh, I'm just playing. Don't worry. Like I said, I'll be there to back you up. Okay. Well, I'll meet you back at the cottage if you're going to teleport back there. I'm going to go ahead and go into the blacksmith so we can get your new armor fitted and everything. Alright. See you soon. <laughs>